Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, today, I want to focus on Mia J, who happens to be Young Dolph's wife and the mother of his two kids. Um, as y'all know, Young Dolph has been gunned down this past week, and um, you know, he leaves behind children. He leaves behind a daughter and a son. And what I would like to focus on is his wife, Mia J, right? Because to people, just a rapper has been killed. You know, another rapper, that's what they say. Another rapper has been killed when in fact, a brother, a father, um, a son, you know, um, an uncle, just somebody that people look up to have passed. So it's so much more than just a rapper, not to mention Mia J, his wife, have been going through something prior to um young Dolph actually being killed as well so i want to get into all that because like i said a lot of people they focus on just young Dolph being killed in that whole situation and i think sometimes we don't stop to realize like the people that are affected around these rappers uh, around these celebrities around these actors athletes that get killed or whatever the case may be so i would like to focus on that not to mention prior to young Dolph being um killed his wife mia j she's been like a big advocate for black on black crime um pretty much her brother was actually killed as well and a lot of people don't know that so she was dealing with that situation prior to young Dolph being killed so her advocating for the whole black on black violence movement you know trying to pretty much advocate against it where her brother was killed and then next you know the father to her children has also been killed due to what they say black on black violence as well so it's just a whole bunch of things going on and um i want to touch on that just briefly and get some of you updated with what's going on between mia j which is young Dolph's wife and her pain that she might be going through as well you see what i'm saying so um before we get into all that make sure you like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content and i swear i swear i swear i swear it's lit here so join one of the gangs on youtube so you can stay updated with some of the realest content now let's get straight into it now mia j um who is young Dolph's wife yes i said wife um as she's also the mother of his two kids they have one boy and one girl now a lot of people didn't know that she actually was a big advocate she had her own campaign going on called black men deserve to grow old and that was because her brother was actually killed due to a senseless violent act as well so i want to get into all that i'm gonna read this article get y'all familiar with what's going on and then we're going to talk about it and then i want y'all to leave y'all comments leave y'all opinions and everything so we could debate in the comment box below so let's get into it It says here young Dolph's partner mia j champions black men deserve to grow old campaign now it says here mia j rallies behind this cause a campaign dedicated to raising awareness and money for families who have lost their husbands and fathers due to violent crime Jay is the mother of the late rapper Young Dolph's children. He was shot and killed Wednesday in Memphis and he was only 36. Now Jay, the CEO of Mommyo, a social cause initiative involved in campaigns that will support families who face hardships, started the Black Men Deserve to Grow Old campaign on August 22nd. All right. Um, what would have been her brother Jeremy's 35th birthday? Now, this is the brother we're talking about. Um, the brother of Young Dolph's wife, Mia. Um, her brother was shot and killed by another black man over a $3,000 car deal by an unhappy customer, according to the campaign video. Mm. Now, it says here the campaign was started to help support her brother's family and two other families who have experienced loss due to violent intra-racial crime. All right, Jay laid out all the points of the Black Men Deserve to Grow Old campaign in an Instagram post that features a video of young Dolph braiding their daughter's hair. She notes that four of the fathers pictured have all been taken from their families prematurely to violent crime within their community. All right, so she says here, quote, so when I advocate for older black men who are 20 times more likely than 
other male counterparts to die prematurely due to violent crime that happens within our community. I am advocating for these men to live out their purpose and positively impact the black community. I am doing this for the men in my family and yours. So help me spread the word, Jay said. Now, a lot of people, like I said, don't realize um, just because someone may smile, just because somebody may not look like they're going through a lot. Um, sometimes they are, you know, and with this situation with young Dolph, it's just another blow to Mia, man. First, her, um, her brother who was only 35, who lost his life to pretty much a car deal that a customer was unsatisfied about. And she's saying that that was over just $3,500 or, th or no, I'm sorry, $3,000. $3,000 So I could understand her pain man Because I'm pretty sure If she could turn back the hands of Tom She'll pay that $3,000 back to that uh, that customer You know um, $3,000 isn't worth somebody's life When you're taking somebody's life, uh, life You gotta remember You're not just hurting that person You're hurting their families Alright You're hurting their children their children got to be told that they're never going to see somebody they love ever, ever again. So you're not just hurting that person. You're hurting the people that surround them. You're helping the people that they support, the people they provide for. Just think when you kill somebody, right? There's somebody that was dependent on that somebody that are, that you made um, not able to be accessible again. That will never come back. You see what I'm saying? Like it's, it's it's deep, and it's not just our community. Cause I mean, I know that that's the narrative a lot of the times, black on black violence. But this is universal, man. But specifically for us, I feel that the tables are already turned against us. You see what I'm saying? We got our backs against the walls as it is, and things are designed for us to fail, so to help their narrative their agenda to make us fail even quicker it's sickening so um i could just imagine what me is going through with young Dolph going it's not about the money um because i'm pretty sure young Dolph has his children set up has his family set up for times like this they say he brought properties and all that so it's not about the money a lot of people get that misconstrued it's never really about the money it's that emotional pain that you got to stay strong in front of them babies <laughs> you see what I'm saying because even though he's gone she has to step up to the plate and be two parents instead of one she has to help raise that 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 young man that had a father a father figure in their life but he no longer has one so like I said it earlier man you may see somebody and you think they got it all together um, check on that significant other that you think may be going through something whether they lost somebody or not man some people are fighting battles within themselves that we know nothing about some of us don't even care to learn somebody in, in their past and their history or what they currently going through somebody could use some help right now you see what I'm saying and I, Mia I'm sure she could use all the help she can and like I said it's not about materialistic help sometimes the help isn't even physical you know, it's a mental thing. It's emotion. So I want to send all all prayers, um, my condolences out to Mia and her family. You know, and them kids, man, because that's who's really affected at the end of the day. She lost two men in her life that she actually, you know, adored, man. From her brother, who was only 35, and the young Dolph, who was 36. So that's tough. So like I said, man, um, if you know somebody going through something, please try to be there for them, whether it's just doing a good gesture or talking to them you know um my condolences go out to me and jay and her family once again she lost her brother and she lost the father of her children a lot of us don't um didn't know that so you know shout out to her um i wish her nothing but the best um rest in peace young Dolph. rest in peace her brother jeremy and um y'all let me know y'all feel about this in the comments man don't forget to like comment share and subscribe Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as y'all keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.